A very quick video today. Here is the beta for Sim Update 11 on Microsoft Flight Simulator. This is uh, what's going to be the 40th anniversary edition of the Sim. What we don't have is helicopters and gliders in the beta build. What we do have is a few new visualization options. Here is aerodynamic visualization or computational fluid dynamics. We can switch these on through the assistance option. Now what these will do is give us an in-sim visualization of the computational fluid dynamics. These of course will only work with planes that have been upgraded with CFD support, of one of which is the Cessna 172. Immediately you can see these in action, these are the fluids, or in this case the gases being pulled in by the prop of the front of the plane and then around the plane's body. Now as we're sitting stationary you can see them all being pulled off to the right hand side of the craft but as we accelerate and bring up the RPM you can see that changing somewhat. I think you should be able to notice that there on YouTube. Not sure how this is going to appear on the YouTube video due to some of the uh, compression there but nonetheless let's get moving forwards and notice how the visualization here of the gas flows, the air flows change as we start accelerating up along the runway. We can off a little bit to the side there. I don't normally fly in at this view. And as we bring down the flaps, you can see how that also has an impact on the air currents. And this is all part of a bigger body of work that has been developed to support helicopters, which are coming in the same update on the 11th of November. Also coming in that same update is gliders. Incidentally, there's also some visualization for those. We're here on the airstrip at Redcar, North Yorkshire. And using the weather tab, you can see down the bottom right hand corner, we've got a new option, show 3D thermals. A little bit hard to see here. In a minute, I'll change the time of day so we can get a little bit better visualization. But you can see the thermal air currents there off in the distance. So again, this is all here for support of gliders. And here's a slightly better view of that. Now, I don't want to dive too deeply into this. Firstly, I'm not a thermal dynamics expert, not a computational fluids dynamic expert by any means. I know very little about all that stuff. But I do also want to wait for gliders and the helicopters to be in the sim before we take a closer look at exactly how all this stuff plays out and how it all handles. Nonetheless, this is of what's currently available in the beta build, so I thought some of you at least would be interested in seeing it. That brings us to the end of this very brief video. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys and girls next time.